Hi everyone, this is Krista and here is my thought for today. So I am going to be talking about Captain Marvel. A video I saw by MechaRandom42 on YouTube. And uh, shout out to her. Check out her channel. She has some great content over there. Well, one of the videos that she posted, um, posted uh, on February 26th was titled, Is Captain Marvel Failing on Purpose? And in the video, she brought it up saying, are they trying to intentionally fail this movie on purpose? Because there's a lot of controversy and there's a lot of drama going on surrounding this movie right now. And if you haven't heard about it, it's all over YouTube, it's all over social media, and all of these websites and Rotten Tomatoes and everyone are trying to protect this movie. And so what Mega was bringing up was why would Kevin Feige allow this, why would he allow this franchise to fail based on one movie? It doesn't make any sense. Video and what her thought process was, would, why would Kevin Feige, who's been when running this franchise, the cinematic universe, for years, for over 10 years, to suddenly allow it to tank after what the success of Inf Infinity War, and now Endgame is going to come up in a couple of months. Why would he suddenly allow, you know, I can't imagine he would be that stupid or he'd be that much of a pushover to allow his job to be on the line. I don't see him doing that. I was one. I was thinking about this as well. Is that there is if you haven't been following a lot of identity politics and a lot of the virtue signaling SJW type tactics invading all of the entertainment franchises. And it's happened with Doctor Who, it's happened with Star Wars, it's happened in the comic industry, and it's been happening, it's starting to happen in the MCU. And this is where a lot of people are having issue with it because they've seen what's happened in other franchises and other. And so there is this faction that broke off from the comic industry and they have been called Comicsgate. Now basically if you look up Comicsgate, you're gonna see a lot of um a lot of people saying negative things about it. But basically what it is is that it's a group of um industry professionals or people that, you know, are trying to get involved in comics that didn't have a chance before or they were they were basically these people were blacklisted from the industry because of their political beliefs their religious beliefs because they decided to go against what the toxic comic book industry has you know referring to this was that what if he's allowing this to fail what if he's allowing captain marvel with all the controversy around it with what bria said and you know bria's a good person you know she's well intentioned she just i think she's naive in what she is saying and her pr team are horrible and not you know catching you know these comments that could be very divisive and they have become very divisive because they're acting career to bring you know social awareness to all these injustices happening and that's good i mean you can use that but you know, you also have to be aware of what you're saying and how you're saying it. You have to be more tactful with what you're saying and n realize that when you're in a position of playing a character such as Captain Marvel, where nobody really knows who this character is, you know, it's not like a Wonder Woman of the DC or uh, all these other big characters. Maybe what they're planning to do is um, introduce us to Captain Marvel this version, this alternate, and maybe we're going to get a different version of her and we're going to get a different story. We're going to get ones based off of the comics or even better than that. That's not going to have all of this social justice crap thrown into it and ruining it. And um, maybe that's what's happening. Maybe that's why Kevin decided that because it's been, he's been seeing all this invasion from all the other fandoms, he decided, you know what, let's let this one movie have this. You guys can do what you want with it, market it, but, you know, they'll make a decent amount of money, but they'll fail it. And this will be an example of what he doesn't want the industry 
to happen to. He he's seen it. He I'm almost wondering if maybe that's what's going to happen with this next phase is that we're going to get a little introduction to Captain Marvel and who she is in this movie that's coming out in the next week or two. But then when universes and you know she is going to be in the end game in some capacity but i'm wondering if that's what they're going to do if they're just going to have you know in the next phase they're going to they're going to have her be the lead character but they're going to have it in a different way that we can possibly enjoy i don't know um tell me what you guys think do you think this is you know legitimate or do you think maybe they're maybe they're we're, we're actually seeing the MCU dying and there's nothing we can do about it. You know, we're just going to have to enjoy the franchise as we knew it. And that's it. But yeah, tell me what you think and leave comments below and I will talk to you soon. Bye.